So you can see that in Java, square brackets are uh, very closely related to using array. And whenever you see these square brackets uh, used uh, with uh, names or identifiers, uh, you should know that this is something to do with array access or array instantiation like this. All right, so this is uh, the general uh, syntax using array. Array of integers, very similar to what we did right here. Of course, another array named num. So num is a reference to an array of integers. And you can see that when we do something like this, as I told you, the values, the new integers that are being populated in uh, Java Virtual Machine Memory are populated with zero by default. So that's uh, something that will be um, done for you automatically. The array elements are populated with zeros um, when you deal with integers or double values or any other integral data type. If you want to create an array of doubles, again, uh, you just use specific type, then you use square brackets, and you can create a reference to an array, basically specifying uh, the name of the array. Uh, and then later on, you can write new double and specify how many doubles you'd like. Of course, uh, um, you can um, uh, do it this way as well. You can just take uh, this and uh, declare an array of doubles like this. Right? So you can say new right away. Uh, array of new uh, doubles and you specify how many of them you'd like. Okay, So let's create an array of four doubles. And we call them prices. Okay, or we can do it like this, right? So we can just, just later assign, uh, basically create uh, array as new array and do it uh, later on, just like we have demonstrated in these two steps. However, just be aware that using this syntax can be done only when the array is declared. For example, if I want my prices to equal uh, an initializer list like uh, 10.0, 20.0, 30 0, just to use double values for initialization like this. Okay, this will be a syntax error. What does it mean? It, it means that you cannot create an array reference and then later on take this array reference and say, I would like to create an array of five doubles by simply using initializer syntax and giving this reference access to this array of integers. This is this is actually a syntax error. So if we if we save this and if we say okay let's try to build this clean and build okay so what happens is uh, the actual error is uh, illegal start of expression as it says right here. Basically the compiler doesn't like this to be something uh, which is being tried to assign to an array reference. So to fix this, you probably what what you what you want to do is just do it this way. Okay, then it's fine. Okay, so you can populate it like this. So this is called array initializer. So there are two ways to create arrays with new, which is a little bit more flexible, but does not have initial initialization list. And here with initialization list, you're sort of like stuck with uh, specific values and specific number of them. Now let's consider also an array of strings. So array of strings uh, looks like this, and I'll just copy it from here. Okay, so we'll just take an example of an array of strings. So what happens when we do a name list uh, array of strings is that um, uh, we create new array object. Remember, Java array is an object. So when we say new, it creates an array of strings of size 5. This is what this new syntax does for you. And so right here, if this is our array, okay, so this, this is our array, and I'll try to like convert this to a 3D box like this. Array of strings 
is array of objects because uh, object uh, string is an object. So we what we end up with is an array of strings or array of references to string objects. So this way, when we create this array, and of course name list right here is our reference to, to this array right here. Each reference here, each, each little box inside this array that we just created like this, gets populated with null references. So no strings exist. These strings don't exist yet. Okay, they, they don't exist. Uh, this line of code creates an array object which contains as individual elements it, it, it is made up of references to, to string objects and references are generally like the size of an integer and these strings don't exist yet so we must have some code again to populate this array with actual uh, strings Okay, so basically it's like a two-step process. To be able to create a, an array of objects, but more technically uh, uh, speaking, array of references to objects, you use the same syntax like you did with primitive data types, like integers or doubles right here. But in the second step, you need to take care of like going through this entire array through each of of the elements present in this array and give it like create an object uh, of course double quotes automatically create a new string in java so of course uh, each of these strings uh, returns back a reference to the string so nicely each uh, element right here gets populated with these new objects that we create um, in this um, steps uh, 0 1 2 3 4 Okay, and again, notice that, of course, array uh, indexing begins with zero. We say that in Java, arrays are zero-based. Okay, so we start with index zero. Now, alternatively, let's also make this type of demonstration. Let's uh, create uh, a method that we will name uh, populate uh, populate names okay so we say populate names uh, and uh, uh, this will be a method okay and I'll do it inside a method so this will be a method call and I will simply pass this uh, name list array of string references to new method of course because this is just uh, uh, we work at the level of static main method uh, my uh, methods here also will be uh, static and because this is a demo it doesn't return anything I uh, mark them as void return type and this will be populate names and of course the the data type that uh, this uh, uh, method will uh, will use is uh, the same as array declaration so now what I would like to do uh, is that uh, just simply copy and paste perhaps this right and uh, just copy and paste to demonstrate that uh, array initialization can happen uh, inside a method because this method populate names gets this name list which is the same as this however it's just another a reference to the same object okay so once we create this name list we have a reference to this object right here and when we use this name list as parameter the actual parameter for populate names method call this name list is another uh, local variable which is a uh, um, uh, reference to an array of strings and of course it will be duplicating this and it will be just pointing to the same array so this is why if if i do this initialization in a dedicated method somewhere upon return right when this method returns um, we will have the end result of this array uh, being populated with these strings so once we 
return from this method, this name list will be populated with these strings.